Hello, it's me, Zoa, and today I want to talk to you about a change in location. Still on Mr. Lee line, still in Stockton, but in a different location. And this comes after helping out a friend at the old place. And as soon as that happened, God said to me, my social life will not end, and it did not. Met new friends, and also I've gained a new location. But it's not all about this today. I'm going to talk about the perfect beast, and I'm going to talk to you about a project that I've got from God, as well as the coronavirus. So right now, the coronavirus that was in the news, it's going the way I said it would, and more and more people are dying. The storms have indeed been spreading it. It's now in more countries, and it's now going to be the case where they've given it a 30-day countdown. Now think about that. How many countdowns have I given you? The final countdown in that music video. Or what about the other one, Resident Evil 2? Oh, let's think about that now. The self-destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. Guess what? It is the end time virus I've been talking to you about. Resident Evil. Real. World War Z is nigh. World War Z is nigh. The coronavirus, it's a 30 day countdown predicted to reach epidemic proportions in the UK. And it's not just going to be an epidemic, it will be a pandemic, but that's just one of the agents. The other is the tree of knowledge. They'll be looking at other glyphs about the tree of knowledge, and you look at like Amenoki, I haven't got a picture of it, but they look like they're using, they look like corn cobs to prick the tree of knowledge. So it'd be like the same as me getting this. And remember, this is actually the small tree of knowledge, common hogweed. The tree of knowledge is the giant hogweed. They are just doing that, like using their syringe to get the sap. The Anunnaki, you know, God, to put in our DNA to make us immortal back in the day. Now you see why when Eve touched the tree of knowledge, you get the idea. I won't delve into that, don't need to, but the coronavirus combined with that could end up being a zombie apocalypse, the prophetic beast, as the most on the subject, could be a man called Friedrich Mertz. Friedrich Mertz is currently trying to go right wing, I think it is. And if he does become a German light MP for the European Union, he will then proceed to take over or someone succeed in him. So they could have the name of our Antichrist already. Friedrich Mertz, it could be the Antichrist. Well, I'm not saying it is for certain. God's not saying it is for certain. Because all the clues have ever got to watch his actions. And if that happens, the NHS will crash as well with the coronavirus. Also, the false prophet will also show himself. It could be the Pope. Someone else from the Vatican. You get the idea. The Roman Catholic Church. And then, now is my project. All of a sudden, the past Zoar's Ark, right? Zoroark. And stuff like that. Noah's Ark. Right? I've always described that in the past videos. You have to watch them. It all ties in with 6 year, of course. I've even started to get me your hand. My hand is actually starting to look like that. <laughs> God. That is actually reptilian DNA we have. Which causes our skin to become scaly. Like a reptile's. There's something else just unlocked there. That is due to reptilian DNA, hence it looks like the meteorite. <laughs> it looks like that part of the meteorite. Cracked and angry, red. Right, but either way, right. You may have seen in my past videos, when I've been at the window, my old flat, this scene. Right? 
Well, I've got a phone call saying you've got yourself a new place of viewing, so... Get yourself ready. And then God said to me, it could be a house with a garden. Because I've always wanted a garden. So I was looking out there and there's houses on this side with a small garden like that there, sectioned off. And then I thought, oh, well, if my house is here, I would have to section off that garden with my own fence. But then I come, I went to view the flat, and then only to find out <laughs> that I own the garden in question. <laughs> it's at your communal garden. Well, the guy, the council, says I can do whatever I want with that, so guess what? That's my project from God. For the upcoming trials and tribulations, watch Friedrich Mertz, as it may be, within the next five to six months. That he rises. That's not a 100% prophecy, I will say that's just my thoughts. God's told me to keep that in mind for. And then moving on, I want to get this door locked. Pause that. Okay, so that's locked. And then, moving back on through here, you'll also see that I've got more items. I've got more stuff here than I had in the other flat. Before I even left the other flat, like those two units there, because the other flat used a fire, fire surround for this portal here. They've got, but the portals are much closer now. So it's taken me more. Well, actually, not that much time, a week, in order to flush in the time space continuum, the light into this room. I only achieved that properly last night. I had to set up the hematite again, one there, one top of there. And Jade Cocoon ties in here. I've also gained the dragonfly key. Right there, it's a hematite dragonfly on my keys. It's so that it connects to the room, so I can bring the time space continuum in. And then. Moving on from the dragonfly key, I'll now explain how I've got the beetle key, you've seen that before. You know, the scarab time plus umbrella of a T-virus or coronavirus, but that's a beetle key. And that's the dragonfly key, and the spear of destiny is the spider key. Because, just to show you the right, is the spider key. Need to go in here. To think Resident Evil. Oh, that's the wrong one. Music video. Um, yep, that's the one. Spider Key. Nope. That's it. Resident Evil 4 and Aliens. There we go. So we've got Resident Evil 4, Louis Memo, and Alien. That's a fossilized face hugger. And that's Resident Evil. The last plague as parasite is the aliens. Right, and it's a spider key because it looks like the insignia key on there. Resident Evil 4. And also the ins emblem on the door it's the same so that's a spider key so I'm missing one key the moth key and moving on with that that back garden is an exam that's when the real testing I'm not and I'm, I'm, the plan is not to do it on my own my project my garden from God my project the lead but it should post big community left out go out front. Also got a garden. Yeah, that's the plan. You might find I've got a black hole there. Connect to Yeah, you can read it. Valhalla. Part in heaven. 
doing a rhubarb. Trying to grow some buddleia, yeah? some plants, some flowers and flowers. Almond trees. There was a little tire here as a planter with hemlock seeds in it, poison hemlock. But someone stole it and scattered all of it there. So I'm going to have to scoop out. But the plan was to do a little circular hole with some bricks around it, make it look nice and have a hemlock grown in. Get some fennel down here, another butterfly bush, buddleia, fennel. Plan is to till this bit and do like a little bush there. And in the back garden, the back garden was going to be like a poison patch, a food patch, ornamental patch. All the good plants, but basically, yeah, it'd be hemlock. I would love to go over tree of knowledge, but I'm not allowed. Human law says I can't because it's a biohazard. Yep. You know, that might have to happen all over again. Think floods and then get the flood from here though. Right, so there we go. I've covered quite a bit there, more than I thought in this video right now. So, yeah, it could be time to do the next bit. It's related to the Curse of Oak Island and number 13, that's the one. Curse of Oak Island, last episode, revealed that George Washington. And Benjamin Franklin, two of the fathers, were um, two or thirteen people to be lucky enough to escape. There was another tree represented, but it wasn't the tree of knowledge. I haven't got an image of it now, but it looked like a monkey puzzle tree. Oh, and that could also look like George Washington. <laughs> and there's a reason why thirteen is lucky. I'm living in, in number one. Of 13 house flats in this street one of 13 and this big garden to play with <laughs> it seems some things come instantly like that but some things come over time don't expect instant change like I've had fortunately instant and to a better place. Small land inside, but all that land outside to work with. I want to go where people evolved in it as well. I met another good friend, Darkness.